All right, in this video, we're going to go over relative configuration. Relative configuration is a way for us to describe the spatial position of atoms or groups relative to other atoms or groups in the molecule. And the best way to understand this is just by taking a look at a few examples. Now, the rules for assigning relative configuration is different depending on the number of substituents that you have. So we'll look at the simpler case where we only have two substituents. When we're referring to substituents, we're looking at substituents generally about a double bond or a ring. So here we can consider an example where we have a double bond and we have two isomers. So what we can see is you have two very similar looking molecules. The only difference is that in one case, the bromines are on the opposite side of the double bond. And in the other case, the bromines are on the same side of the double bond. Remember, double bonds do not exhibit free rotation. So these are different molecules. You cannot just rotate a bromine to the bottom and say they're the same. So because they are different molecules, we can assign a relative configuration to them. And the way it's assigned is if your substituents are facing the opposite side, then we see that you have the trans configuration. Whereas if your two groups are facing the same side, then you have the cis configuration. And this applies not only to double bonds, but can apply also to rings. So let's take a look at a couple examples. So here I've drawn two molecules. And again, this molecule is trans because you can see in the ring, the two bromine atoms are on opposite sides of the ring. And this molecule, this is cis because the two bromine atoms are on the same side of the ring. Now, another good thing for you to keep in mind for the MCAT in terms of trans and cis is knowing which one is more stable. And generally, the trans isomer is more stable than the cis isomer, and that's because the trans isomer is less likely to experience steric interactions. So let's write this down first. The trans isomer is more stable than the cis isomer. So if you recall, steric interactions refers to groups that come in close proximity to each other. When that happens, their electron clouds may overlap, which is an unfavorable interaction because all electrons are negative, so they repel each other. When you have the groups that are cis are on the same side, they're closer to each other and more likely to interact. Whereas if they're trans, they're on opposite sides and less likely to interact. So if they don't have those steric interactions, they're going to be more stable. All right. So that's how it works if you only have two substituents. Let's now talk about the more complicated case if you have more than two substituents. So what we can draw is a double bond. And what we're going to have is a hydrogen, a methyl group. We're also going to have a deuterium. And we're going to have a fluorine. So now we can see that things are more complicated. So the way that we assign the relative configuration here is actually an application of something we've discussed before. And that is the first step you're going to do is you're going to assign priorities using the con angle prelog rules. And you'll recall in the con angle prelog rules, we rank by atomic number, then by atomic mass, then by finding the first point of difference if necessary. And remembering that if you have multiple bonds, that counts as multiple atoms. So here, if we're looking at atomic number, 
fluorine is going to have the greatest atomic number, then carbon. Deuterium and hydrogen have the same atomic number, but deuterium has a greater atomic mass. So this is 3 and this is 4. So now, the assignment here is not cis or trans. What you assign is E or Z. And the nice way to think about it is just think of Z like cis and E is like trans. So what you can say is if your highest priorities on, are on the same side, then that is Z. However, if your highest priorities are on the opposite side, then that will be E. And we can see here, in terms of our highest priorities, on both sides of the double bond, which is the 2 and the 1, you can see that they are on opposite sides. So in this case, this molecule is E, like trans. We can take a look at another molecule, which is going to give us a Z, and that could be a molecule like this. All right, so if we take a look at this molecule, we can rank by atomic number. Fluorine is number one, hydrogen is number four. We've got two carbons, same atomic number, same atomic mass. We've got to find the first point of difference. This carbon's bound to three hydrogens. This carbon is bound to an oxygen and double bonded to an oxygen. That double bond counts as two oxygens, so this is technically bound to three oxygens. Oxygen, of course, has greater atomic number than hydrogen, so that means this is going to be priority number two. This is priority number three. And now we can see the highest priority substituents on each side are on the same side, both facing down, so this is going to be Z. All right, so that's how you assign relative configuration.